Hi everyone, my name is Joyce Joseph and I am a senior finance consultant with Western Computer. I'm also a CPA. I've been working in the AX space for the last 10 years and I have been involved directly with over 15 implementations. Today, what I want to share with you is a very underutilized feature that we have called the periodic journals. It's a great feature to use when you have something such as a recurring journal entry that you need to enter maybe on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis. For example, a good use of that would be a journal entry for your biweekly payroll, or maybe you have to log various amortization amounts for loans. So what I'd like to do today is show you what's required for setup and then create a recurring journal. Basically, it's a template and then show you how to retrieve that journal or template and post it. So we'll begin. What's required for setup is that we need a journal name called the periodic journal. So I'm going to the general ledger and I'm going to journal names and I'm just going to show you that we have a periodic journal all set up and ready to go. So here's the periodic journal and the key part about the periodic journal is that you must have a journal type called periodic and we need a voucher series always added. So we have a voucher series. So that means when we're going to set up your journal, this is the journal that we need to use for our example today. All right. So I'll close this. So the next part is that we now need to start putting in our periodic journals. So if you go again to the general ledger under journal entries, you will see periodic journals. In the sandbox, we already have some examples of periodic journals. And I'd like to show you, for example, looking at this journal number 408, how you can see the amount of time that could be saved by using such a journal. So 408, I'm going to open it. And as you can see, ignore the date here, but it's a very lengthy journal, it has a number of lines in it. So if we could be able to create a template like this and be able to then, when we need a month then pull it in into our real live journal entry batches, then that's going to save us a lot of time. So what I want to do is show you how to basically add to this listing by creating our own today. So basically you're going to hit the new button. It'll give you a new number, 827. What type of journal? We're going to use a periodic journal and basically we'll just put a test name on it. Okay, Joyce test. And just as with other journal entries, you would double click to go in. And what this date is, is the first date for the month end that you would like to use. So I would like to do a month end of October 31st. Now I'm going to just show you a very simple journal entry where we're just going to use three lines and I'm going to just randomly select some GL account numbers. So please don't worry too much about the fact that the numbers I select might not make a lot of sense. But as you can see, when I'm selecting things, I can add the main account. I can have a business unit. I can have a cost center. So I put something in here. So I'm going to start this one off with a credit. Going on to the next line, I will again make sure that it uses October 31st. Choose another GL account to post this to. Again, I want to be able to use dimensions in my entry. You don't have to, but just again, showing you how this can be done. And I'm going to add a third line. And making sort of this balances, I'm going to round it out with putting in the 300. So the key here is that we also need to tell the system how often we're supposed to be doing this. So what you want to be able to do is on each one of the lines, if for example, I want this available for once a month, I will change the days feature to say month.
Great. So now I have a journal entry number 827 here that would be available. So let me hit the Save button. So our first part is that we've entered the journal, and now the next part is to actually use it in processing. So going back to Finance and Operations, I'm going to go to my workspace where I use the general journal processing. And I would like to create a new journal. And there's a journal number, 828. I'm using just a typical general journal. And let's call that the Joyce Test October 2017. All right, so opening up this journal. Usually now we would have to manually enter all the lines, but this is where the power of the periodic journal comes in. We're going to go to period journal and we're going to retrieve the journal. Remember, our journal is 827. Now it wants us to know up to what date, so we would like to do the date of October 31st. And all we have to do is find the journal number in the listing. There's 827, that's the one we want to run. And we want to tell the system to copy the template, therefore it would be left available again for next month. The other option is that if you move it, then that means this is the last time you'll have it available because it will no longer be in that periodic journal listing. So I hit the OK button. And there you have it. Your journal entry comes in 1031. And those are our GL account numbers and those are the amounts. And all we have to do now is just post a general journal. And you're done. So that's it. I really hope that you can see opportunities in your own real life examples where you can be able to do this and help save a lot of time. Thanks again. Take care.